So now I uh, figured I'd do, try doing another soldering video and uh, I don't do a lot of soldering. I'm not the best at soldering and also I think this got too oxidized to uh, do a good job uh, soldering it. I did get uh, kind of rough with it with this uh, brass sponge. I was calling it copper in the uh, last video uh, but it should be uh, brass right there. Um, so you see a lot of videos of people really jabbing that in uh, violently to help uh, scrape off some of the oxidation. I did that more violently uh, before I made the last video than uh, when I made the last video because I was trying to uh, just um, you know get excess stuff off of it and uh, try to let the tip tinner and the solder um, you know do the rest of the cleaning. But in any case um, this is a new uh, tip uh, right there this is what they were and so um, you can see it's like smooth there and it's kind of jagged there so solder does a pretty good job um, when it, this gets hot enough of uh, coating this um, where it's uh, you know like a little roughed up I should probably say instead of jagged um, it uh, tends to flow pretty good and then um, imagine this is solder so you just uh, kind of touch the solder there it starts flowing and uh, kind of smooths and uh, at some point you start getting a ball where you have the solder there and it may uh, roll off you know if you're you're not careful that's probably how that got there some of these uh, splatter ones um the reason why is because uh with uh, this tip right here you can see i got a ball right there and i don't think it spread um very much other than that area where it got a ball right there and uh this one you can see, um, you know, we got a big blob on there. I'm trying to get solder on it um, so that none of the metal, the steel, is exposed to air. Get a layer of solder over it before it cools down and then uh, clean it off and uh, put another little layer of solder on there, which is uh, tinning it, you know, maybe use flux and whatnot or a tip uh, tinner here uh, before you put a little solder on there. Uh, but uh, that thin layer of solder will help uh, protect it while you're working on your project and uh, also it helps transfer heat. So now this iron here has adjustable temperature so that's in Celsius and uh, it's probably hard to read I don't know yeah we'll get closer uh, but in case that's uh, 350 right there 400 and 450 and then 300 250 and uh, 200 right there and I've been finding that to really get this to heat up, I kind of have to start off with the full uh, temperature right there. But when it looks like it's probably hot enough, um, it looks like I need to be, you know, somewhere close to like 400 degrees. Uh, maybe I can go lower. I believe when I tried doing uh, 350, it wasn't uh, melting the solder that I have. So I have... Uh, this solder here and I don't know how accurate this is either um maybe my outlets not providing much power to other people um but in case I'm using this uh solder there so it says 10 wire tube uh 70 30 so I think that's 70 10 and 30 lead I believe and then it has a flux in there so as I said before I'm uh, 450 right there and I already noticed that uh, the solder is uh, melting on uh, to this right there it's flowing and uh, at some point there's going to be too much and uh, it's going to start dripping off. I'm going to lower it to uh, 400. Once I notice that it, uh, maybe I'll go a little bit lower than 400. Uh, but in any case, once I notice it started flowing, I'm going to try to uh, clean off that extra that I left on there. Just to make sure there's a thick layer to uh, keep it from oxidizing. We can kind of uh, twist it. And um, so yeah, I believe we still have a little on there. Um, maybe I could... Uh, do some uh, tip tinner. I did that in an earlier video, but as long as it flows and a little bit of it splattered I mean as long as it flows on there. That may have been a little uh, too much then um, I should be uh, pretty good. That should be tinned and ready to go when it comes to the uh, tip uh, tinner and um, I misplace this little sticker. It does come with the double-sided uh, sticker so that you can uh, stick it to stuff um, But in case I think I should brush this off. If I think I need to clean it a little bit more, I'd probably uh, get the tip tinner here, right there. And um, I'm going to try lowering the heat a little bit, right there, and uh, seeing how good uh, we do. So I believe when I was still in the red when I got lower, it, uh, it didn't do uh, too well. So 
get uh, that tip with the uh, tip tinner. And then uh, I think that's all we need to do. Kind of, a, I think that's more to clean it off than to actually uh, tin the uh, tip. But yeah, there you can see the solder um, once the uh, flux uh, burns off. That's the smoke. It is uh, coating uh, that. You don't really see it pulling up a whole terrible amount right there. But uh, yeah, we should be pretty good right there. I believe, again, I don't do a lot of soldering. I haven't even watched like a ton of videos, um, but uh, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna stick it in my helping hand holders and we'll go to the next scene. So now I got these uh, pins there. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, soldering uh, with this. But in any case, um, I use these sometimes, but I don't know that they line up as well as uh, this snip right here. So it's got basically the same blades, but there I can feel I'm around there and I can just cut off um, some header pins. And uh, fortunately they flew onto the floor, but in any case, it's that easy to uh, cut as many as you want. I'm doing two right now. And in the last video, I did uh, some soldering on this board. I'm kind of repeating the same pattern. So there you can see the uh, longer pins are up. That's where we can uh, plug in uh, some jumper, uh, what are they called, uh, wires. Um, so I find it's best to insert them like this. And then um, I'm going to put them into the uh, breadboard right there. I find the best thing to do, if I tip this, the one that's not solder will uh, fall out, of course. And uh, so I find this is the best way. Take uh, the breadboard over there on top of it. Make sure they all um, go into that uh, far row right there. Um, but in case, um, usually I do this all upside down. Um, but yeah, push it in right there. And now it's going to hold it uh, in place. There you can see it's the two pins that are not soldered right there. So I think we're gonna get about as good of a view as we can. Uh, I got this at about uh, 375 according to this. I don't know how accurate it is. I've had this solder kind of uh, sitting there. I'm just gonna kind of uh, brush it off right there. And then I'm going to uh, retin it uh, right before I use it. And uh, so yeah, hopefully this heat works good. But uh, yeah, there we can, we can see not uh, too bad right there. And let's see how well the uh, solder flows over this at this temperature. So yeah, looks like uh, this might be a good temperature uh, to use right there. Maybe I can go lower. So I've been told on other videos, you want to go as low as possible. And then you want to preheat um, both the uh, wire that you're soldering and the pad right there. And uh, I find that uh, I usually have to touch the solder to the wire to get it flowing. But, um, you know, that heat from the uh, pad and uh, the wire there that we're heating um, helps it flow in that direction once you bring the solder uh, towards there. So we got kind of a ball there. So I'm going to go kind of easy with how much I uh, apply right there. And I believe I'm being hindered by not uh, seeing too well, uh, trying to look from behind the camera. But I think we did all right with those two. So now I'm going to uh, get a kind of a layer of a solder on here, as I said before. Maybe turn it that way, hopefully not too much right there. And um, let the flux burn off right there. But now I'm gonna unplug this. I'm gonna put it in the holder and um, let that solder just uh, sit there. So now, um, to uh, take a look at these, really the camera doesn't uh, pick up uh, much detail. So I've used this loop before. This is called a uh, jeweler's loop. And hopefully, there we go. Yeah, I'm at the top left. It does have uh, letters and uh, numbers as well on uh, the board. Um, I think numbers are on the other end of the board. Um, but in any case, uh, we go down. That should be uh, right there. The last one that I soldered right there, which I think uh, probably doesn't look too bad right there. This one might... Uh, need a little bit more solder I don't know um, but yeah that should be perfectly fine you can see that we can't see any of that ring right there so we should have a solid connection um, so this is what I did uh, last night um, with the same setup that we just did the uh, new uh, tip and everything but I wasn't uh, holding the camera so maybe a little uh, more solder than I need right there but I don't think it would hurt anything and I think this one over here is a pretty good one um, and then we also got uh, these two uh, right there, which I originally, I think I tried to do at uh, either 350 or 300 uh, Celsius on the uh, soldering iron, uh, but I had to turn it up 
and heat it up higher, um, whatever I had it set. And, uh, you know, I tried uh, starting, I believe, at, I can't remember which which one of these it was, um, with it uh, uh, at like a 400, and then I tried tapering down a little bit uh, each time. I think I worked my way down, and, um, but uh, I think ultimately, when I'm close to like 400, I was getting the best results, which I think I got over there. And um, so I believe one of these I did with the, uh, maybe, I think it was over up there, actually. Um, this one up here, I believe I did before I made uh, the videos. I had too much uh, solder on the iron when I started uh, soldering and like a big blob came down. And so I'd have to like uh, remove it. But in case, uh, yeah, right there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, those were definitely with uh, the one that I had oxidized and yeah I still think they're like okay and that blob was again I had a little too much on there so um, the solder kind of balls up on to the oxidation and then um, like at the wrong time it can fall off and it happened to fill uh, that and I believe that's uh, also what happened with that little splatter right there and also um, with uh, this one I'm going to try practicing um, uh, leaded uh, components um, some more right there they're not stiff like this um, spreading them out so it kind of holds the component in place before soldering but again this is when um, probably was even more oxidized than before I started filming the last video because I did kind of uh, try to roughly uh, clean it I believe the LED may have inspired me to get more aggressive in uh, cleaning it um, but I was putting like a little ball on there and kind of transferring that uh, ball um, but it wasn't working out uh, too well. Sometimes that ball would just uh, fall into a bad spot. Um, so yeah, I believe this is what I was uh, working on before I first off bought new tips and watched videos how to uh, better uh, take care of them. So a lot of them involved, uh, you know, the soldering irons off uh, right now, so it should be cooling down. But it involved, you know, aggressively uh, punching this into there and wiggling it around and, and stuff to get some of the oxidation out. Other people like grind off the oxidation and other stuff. Um, but I watched uh, one YouTuber in particular that I felt was really uh, confident. And uh, where is it? Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know where the tip tinner went. But uh, yeah, he uh, uh, used the tip tinner often right there. He, If it was like iron was sitting in the stand for like a while, First, he did like a tip tinner, uh, kind of cleaned it off. I think he went a little more gentle with cleaning it off, just made sure he got all the uh, stuff off. And then, uh, you know, put like a little layer of solder on there to like tin it uh, before working on his projects. And, you know, he would just, you know, keep working on his projects um, with the, uh, with the uh, solder, uh, solder, yeah. Um, and uh, not like cleaning it anymore or stuff. And then I believe he put like a little solder on there, put it on the stand. But then I believe if it sat there for a while, then he would uh, tip tinner it again, uh, brush it off, and then uh, retin it and continue. So again, watch other videos. Don't go by this video, you know, hardly at all. Um, but if you enjoyed what you saw, um, uh, thanks for uh, watching. Um, that's kind of it. Can't think of any more to say. So check out the other videos I posted on the screen. Check out the links down below. They all help a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.